we got an all powers 100 watt solar panel to go with our all powers power station that we got a while back which we are thoroughly enjoying we use it constantly we're going to go ahead and plug it up to this it came with all the cables and everything all right here we have the 100 watt all powers solar panel today we have a pretty cloudy day looks like we might get some rain this afternoon but we'll uh, just see what we can do with this here and learn some things about it uh, and see how well it works with our all powers unit that we've had a while and we really enjoy it it's been working out great okay here's the front of the panel with it closed it's got a handle on it of course for carrying around you got the top opens up and to fold out the panels but first I'm going to show the stuff the legs the stabilizer legs one on the front here now on the back we have the other stabilizer leg is the same build with this uh, velcro strap to hold it and inside the pocket we have the cables this these two are actually connected they go to the actual panels inside we also have the extra length i'm not sure how long these are let's take these out of the package and see these are the mc4y connectors um, these are the ones that go directly to the panel these you can add on as extensions there is a connector that will go to the power station itself so this you do have to plug these in and um, we'll do that here shortly it also comes with the instruction booklet it also has these adapters for your MC4Y plug. There's a J, C, and H adapter. If you have a different type of power station and you want to use these adapters, so you can do that, and then it gives you a different type of connection. Because these three connections on these adapters are not on our unit that we have, unless they have different models, that could be the, the case where they have different plugs other than what comes with these cords right here that we're gonna use, because this is the size that we'll plug into our power station unit. Here are the panels set up. Here's a view of the back with the legs holding up the panels. Now we're gonna plug it into the unit and uh, see if we're getting any solar. We got a little bit of cloud cover here So this would be a real good test to see if this unit can uh, get a charge on these panels under some cloudy conditions. Now this unit does come with a solar cable for input to the device. Here's a look at the back of the unit. We've got the cables running from the panels back here into the power station. And you can see right there, it's labeled as solar input. And it has a yellow end on it. Like I said, that comes with the unit itself. The uh, panels have different types of connectors, cables. We still got cloudy conditions here, but that's the whole setup. That's how you connect it. So we were able to get a little bit of sunshine here real quick in between the rains. And we've got 64 watts coming in through the panels. Right now we're at 47% charged, and I will check back here shortly. 30 minutes later, we're at 53% charged on the power station, and we're bringing in only 10 watts of power right now from the panels because it is monsoon season here in Arizona. We got a little bit of sunshine a while ago. Now it's cloudy again, but it is working, and it seems to be doing the job pretty well.